Today is October 7th. On this day in history, back in 1916, Georgia Tech, coached by John Heisman, a very familiar name in college football, defeated Cumberland by a score of 222-0, to zero, which is the most lopsided score in the history of football. The United Nations established in 1942, and in 1952, the program Bandstand, later renamed as American Bandstand, begins broadcasting. American music icon Dick Clark would soon join as the host three years later in 1955. In 1958, the U.S. manned pro spaceflight project named Project Mercury, which would be the precursor to the Apollo missions that would lead to Neil Armstrong land on the moon begin. Chicago Bears running back Walter Payton surpasses Jim Brown, the Browns running back, as the NFL all-time leading rusher. In 1996, Rupert Murdoch launches Fox News, and in 2003, in a recall election in California, Arnold Schwarzenegger is announced the governor of California. All these events took place this day in history, October 7th. Tonight, the Lady Indian Volleyball team hosts Seton Catholic in our last home game. It is also senior night. Come out and support the Indians. First serve is at 6. Come out to the gym and support the seniors in their last home game. Or you can watch it all on KISS TV 5 or KISS Facebook. Also over the weekend, the weather was perfect Saturday morning as the Indians cross country team hosted the TC meet against some of the best runners in the area. This was the second meet of the week for the Indians on the home course and by far the best everyone has ran. Colin Perry, Michael Vore, and Solaris Denny all set new personal records for the home course. Solaris Denny not only set a new PR for the course, but also ran her personal best time of the year. Boys results out of 49 runners. 40th, Colin Perry with the time of 21.43, 46, Michael Vore with a time of 23.13. For the girls' results, out of 36 runners, 14th, Chloe Wyatt with a time of 23.56, and 26, Solaire Stenny with a time of 26.52. Congratulations to both junior high teams who represented Union City very well at the TEC meet. A reminder that on Wednesday, the high school will hold its first blood drive of the year. If anyone is still wanting to give blood, you have to be 16 years or older. If you are 16, you need to pick up a paper from Ms. Keel to have your parents sign. See Ms. Keel if you have any questions. Tomorrow for lunch, we are having little bread sandwich, tomato soup with crackers, carrots and celery sticks with dip, apple sauce and peaches, and has always milk. Over the weekend on Friday, the Indians dropped their homecoming game against the Lincoln Eagles 36-13. Derek Williams and Mackenzie Green were crowned homecoming king and queen and the seniors won the Spirit Award for the parade floats. This Friday, the Indians travel to Centerville to play the Bulldogs in another Tri-Eastern Conference matchup. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. The junior high teams also ran in their conference this Saturday at Harder Park. It was a great day to run for all. But a note of special recognition goes out to the following runners who made it on the Tri-Eastern Conference, all-conference team. Connor Walzer, Donovan Sh Shivner, Connor Klein, Ava Jeffries, and Ina Durbin. The junior high will be back in action on Thursday at Randolph Southern to finish their season while the high school will be at Delta on Saturday for breakfast. Boys race starts this day. That's all for the Indian Beat. Have a good day.